So the final rings of power trailer just dropped. Let's check it out right here. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, that looks crazy. What is this? That can't be who I think it is. Is that who I think it is? That can't be him. Is that him? Oh man, they put Gandalf the Grey in this joint too? How desperate are they? And we living it up. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fader J. Back like I left something and I'm glad you're here. Yes, I'm glad you're here. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The final trailer to Rings of Power just dropped. And the desperation looks crazy. I'm going to expose them and show you how this show on September 2nd is going to be the biggest backlash you ever seen known to man. They put it all out there with this trailer right here. And you saw a special appearance by a person that should not even be mentioned in the second age. We're going to speak on that. So you're going to want to watch this video all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Because... That helps me out in the algorithm. It brings more people into this video right here who had the same views as you. And the more that we grow, the more that we prove that you do not mess with this masterpiece arts artwork that J.R.R. Tolkien made, Middle Earth lore, man. It's just a beautiful thing that's being destroyed right now. I wouldn't even call this fan fiction because fan fiction comes with the love. It comes with a passion when it comes to fan fiction. This is not fan fiction. This is a utter disgrace in trying to make money. That's all they want to do is make money off of you. Also, what I need you to do, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. Because when you hit that notification bell, it makes your boy Fader J feel oh so good and oh so swell. Yeah, and also, if you want to help this channel out, Make sure by the like and dislike button, make sure to hit that super thanks button. What I do with that, I put it back into the show. I put it back into better equipment and it makes me entertain you and make a bigger, my, a bigger fool of myself for you. That's what I do. I appreciate you, appreciate you greatly. Now let's get into this video right here. So the trailer dropped. They showed us some Easter eggs. They showed us more of what they have to offer when it comes to September 2nd. And I just saw some things that just really blew my mind. Now, you know, it was a rumor out there that this character that you're looking at right here was Sauron, but rumors uh have been destroyed they have been thrown away this is not going to be so wrong this elf looking eminem type person is going to be a priestess or a priest or whatever a sauron in his cult now that was actually in the lore that the numenorians they had a cult of sauron sauron had tricked them into worshiping morgoth Morgoth was the first Dark Lord before Sauron, and he tricked them into worshiping them. But I don't know if this is going to be the cult of Morgoth or just going to be the cult of Sauron. If this is the cult of Sauron, then they've already messed up pretty badly. And another thing that we saw that, of course, stood out, we seen the Black Elf. I think his name is Adonor, and of course we saw the black uh, dwarf, her name is Princess Dia. These are these two characters right here. They are very much so not canon at all. They did not exist at all. Tolkien never mentioned black elves. He never did mention black doors. This is pretty bad, pretty horrible, because when you go into the third age, you pretty much don't see black elves. You don't see black doors. So what happened? Was it, was it a mass genocide that happened? Did they have a civil war with the white elves and the black elves and the black doors and the white doors? What the freak happened? And a lot of people are missing this too. When it comes to the Numenori queen that you see right here, she's actually a part of Aragorn's lineage. And it just doesn't make sense because 
Aragon pretty much looks like a Caucasian male. Now, you might be asking yourself, Fatal J, you're black. Don't you love this representation? I actually like representation. I like diversity, but this is not needed in Middle Earth Token lore. The reason why is because J.R.R. Token is probably one of the top five most detailed are uh, authors that ever existed on this planet earth his detail is wonderful i mean it was somebody in my comments and they was right he detailed a freaking leaf uh to that freaking atom i mean just a, a a leaf he described it so much he described these characters so much that you could vividly see these characters in your head. You could almost see what they could wear inside your mind. Peter Jackson probably did the closest job that we will ever see of taking his book and making it almost 100%. Now, I will admit, Peter Jackson's uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy was not 100% because you have things in there like Bill, uh, Bilbo, not Bilbo, Frodo. Frodo is actually a blonde character, but the way that he made Frodo look in in the movie, it actually looks pretty good. It looks good. Um, but that's what stood out to me. But the number one thing that really stood out to me in this trailer that really just blew my freaking mind. I cannot believe they freaking did it. This character right here you're looking at. This character right here. You cannot tell me that this character is not Gandalf the Grey. Look at his interactions with the hobbits. The hobbits did not have interactions with mankind. The only mankind, and yes, I know Gandalf is not a man. He is in the store. Uh, is is starry. Uh, he's a wizard, and they come from Valinor. I know that, but his appearances of that of an old man. Look at this character right here. Look at the robes. Look at the gray robes. I feel like. Lord of the Rings, the people behind it, the studios, the showrunners, these people are so desperate. They know that this might be a money pit. They have invested billions into this show, and it is a total disaster. How did you mess this up? If I was one of the showrunners of the show, I would have went in the direction of a just a horde core animation. Because when it comes to the first age, when it comes to the second age, it's just so much detailing to it that, yes, you will spill, spend billions of dollars making it, but you have to be precise or you're going to ruin it. And I think the only thing that could show the first age and the second age in the pure form is just if you spend millions or animation that's really the only way that you could go but this right here you can tell it's a cash cow with this thing that we're seeing i just i, I gotta call it a thing because this is not jrr tokens work this is not his work brought to life you don't understand my token fans they understand but maybe you don't understand from the outside looking in Token fans have dreamed for years of seeing the first age and the second age come to life. You know how many people out there want to see the Cimmerillions in a live action? We wanted that for years. Ever since we saw the Peter Jackson movies, ever since we read the books, we wanted to see this. And now that it's here, it doesn't even feel like Token. When you watch the Hobbit cartoon, that actually feels like Token. But this here doesn't feel like Token. When you watch the Hobbit movies, I would even admit, because a lot of Token fans did not like the Hobbit movies. But when it comes to Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit movies have gone up. And people liking the movies. It's, it's that bad out there. Now, I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys something that is going to blow your mind and is going to show you how desperate they are at Amazon Studios. You're not going to believe this. Check this out right here. This right here is brought to you by Bounding Into Comics. And this is what they had to say. They said, Prime Video announces free theatrical screenings for the Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. YouTube describes it as a bow tactic.
Prime Video announced they will be offering free theatrical screenings for the first two episodes of The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power and one YouTuber believes is a ploy in order for Amazon to claim they sold out the theaters. The official Lord of the Rings on Prime Twitter account announced the theatrical screenings writing for one night only on the August 31st. Experience the first two episodes of The Ring of Power. This has never happened before in human history where they're bringing people to the theaters to watch the first two episodes for absolutely free. And it's because of you they have lost. They have lost. It comes a time where the fans need to rise up and go against these companies who want to put this stuff down your throat, expect you to like it when they ruin the lore. This J.R.R. Tolkien made a masterpiece. He made art. He made it beautiful. When you read the books, you was in that world. When Peter Jackson made this movie, made the trilogy movies, you was in that world. But now, you're not in the world when you watch Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I had a problem calling it Lord of the Rings anyway in front of the, the title. They should have just called it Rings of Power. Because this right here has no attachment to Tolkien at all. This is not an adaptation. You have a slew of new characters that nobody give a freak about. It's going to be a crap show. And you know the real word that I want to say, but you know how YouTube does when you say curse words. So I'm not going to curse at all, but it's going to be hilarious. What's going to happen on September 2nd? And I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot wait. And I want to see them. Because this is what they're going to do. They're going to attack the fans. They're going to attack you for not liking it. I can remember back in the day where people just took their L and kept it moving. You had directors out there who movies did bad. They never did criticize the fans. The fans know what they want. These movies are made for the fans. You guys let me know what you think about the trailer. The Rings of Power final trailer. Uh, what do you think about the free screenings out there? Do you think this is good? Or do you think it's horrible? I'm going to speak, speak to you in the comments below. I want to hear what you have to say. Get back at your boy Fader J. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Because when you hit that notification bell it makes your boy fader j feel oh so good and oh so swell and i'm out of here ninja vanish no, no.